this video we're talking about how to find the surface area of a sphere where we have a sphere here and the surface area is going to be the area that it takes to cover the entire surface of the sphere. We're always going to use the same formula for surface area of a sphere which is surface area is equal to 4 times pi times r squared where r is the radius of the sphere. And remember that the radius is this section here in orange, it's the distance from the center of the sphere to the edge of the sphere. The diameter, remember, is the distance all the way across, so it's double the radius. So what happens if we're told that the radius of the sphere is equal to 4? Well, all we have to do is plug 4 in for r to our surface area formula. So what we get is surface area is going to be equal to 4 times pi times r squared. Since r is 4, we get times 4 squared like this. Then we're going to get 4 pi times 16. 4 times 16 is going to be 64, so we end up with 64 pi, and we can say that the surface area is going to be equal to 64 pi, and we can call this units squared or square units because surface area is always given in square units. What about if we're told that the diameter is equal to 4y and we have this variable in our diameter? Well, first of all, we've been given diameter and we need to find radius because we plug radius into our surface area formula. So how do we find radius given diameter? Well, we know that the radius is always half of the diameter. Since the diameter is 4y, that means that the radius has to be equal to 2y because 2y is one half of 4y. So the radius is equal to 2y. What do we do with this variable? Well, we actually don't do anything different. We just plug 2y in for r because r is equal to 2y. So we get surface area is equal to 4 pi times the radius squared, or in this case, times 2y quantity squared. So then we're going to end up with 4 pi times, when we square 2y, we're going to get 4y squared. 4 times 4 gives us 16, so what we end up with is 16 pi y squared as the surface area of the sphere with diameter 4y. Now this problem is a little different. In this problem we're told that the area of a cross section of the sphere is 125 square units or units squared. The cross section that they're talking about is the circle that runs directly through the middle of the sphere, so it's going to be the area of this circle right here. Remember because we're dealing with a sphere, any cross section that runs through the middle of the sphere is going to be a circle. So we've been told that the area of this circle is 125 square units. Well remember that the area of a circle is equal to pi r squared. So if we set 125 equal to pi r squared, and then we divide both sides by pi, so we get 125 divided by pi is equal to r squared. Now we can take the square root of both sides to solve for r. So when we take the square root of both sides, we're going to take the square root of 125, which is going to end up being 5 square root 5. We're going to divide that by the square root of pi, and that's going to be equal to r. Or we could say r is going to be equal to 5 times the square root of 5 over pi. So this is going to be our radius. Now we have a radius that we can plug into our surface area formula to find surface area. So what we're going to get then is surface area is equal to 4 times pi times r squared. So plugging this value in for r, we're going to get 5 times the square root of 5 over pi, and we're going to square that radius value. So surface area then is going to be equal to 4 pi. Here inside the parentheses, when we square the 5 out in front of the square root, we're going to get 25. When we square the square root, the square root will just cancel and we'll be left with 5 over pi. Now when we multiply the values inside of our parentheses, 25 times 5 is 125 over pi. We're going to get pi in the numerator to cancel with pi in the denominator, leaving us with just surface area is equal to 4 times 125, which is just 500. And remember that surface area is always given in terms of square units, so we'll go ahead and say that surface area is equal to 500 units squared.